Do we have any Muhammadan from the religion you are what you eat? You know, I'm thinking to open a clinic because now I know all the secret of medicine I learned from Prophet Muhammad. Anyone come to you, you tell him drink honey. Even if he have diabetes, he die, you go to jail. <laughs> there is a medicine for everything. Muhammad, he is Dr. Muhammad. He is not a prophet, he is a doctor. <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammad? I want to say anything. When Nabi Bosa, do we have Nabi Bosa here? Hmm? Prophet Bosa. You know, once uh, you know, you know, the old days we have like those uh, videotape. You know, the, what they call them, VHR something? Like the old style videotape, the big ones in the side of your hand. So a guy from the church, uh, he said to me, you know what, my, my wife, she liked to see some Arabic movies, but uh, we don't want to bring movies which is bad to the house. So can you like, you know, get me some, you know, we like to see how the culture, etc. I said, sure, I will find you some. Anyway, so I gave him an Egyptian movie, and there's nothing wrong there, really, in the, in the movie. Then he called me. He called me, he said, didn't I tell you that we want the video to be clean and there's nothing wrong? I said, yeah, it's wrong, nothing wrong. He said, <laughs> he said my, my daughter, she called me, she said, Dad, they are speaking bad words. I said, what bad words? So he said, they are saying the word like in English, the word vagina. I said, no, 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 you got it wrong. This is the name of the actor in Arabic. Her name is Vagina. In, it sounded Vagina in English, but this is how they use it in, 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 in Egypt. <laughs> Dad, they are using bad words in the movie, Dad. I said, no, this is the name of the lady. This is her name in the movie. It sounds like the word you know in English, but this is different, okay? This is not the same. They are not saying that word. <laughs> Dirty movie. Yeah, this is how funny the language can be. I send you a message about my Patreon membership. Nothing was detected from account in December. I didn't know Mimi B. I think I blocked you, didn't I? So, I don't know. I did not receive any message from you. I, uh, maybe, maybe you are blocked because there is people who annoy me in Patreon, and I block them. Because some people think if they make a little donation, they own me. I'm not for sale, my friend. Anyone who say things out of the line, I block. I don't care you make donation or not. Uh, <clears throat> Do we have any Muhammadan? Anyone? Any half one? Any Prophet Posa? You know, I find it funny that the Muslim he is saying to the admin, sit back, and then the admin, you know, he, he took his message off. I mean, you know he's an admin, he can't take your message. Well, I mean, be, behave. Any Muhammadan? The followers of the Nabi Bosa, Abu Kapsha? Nobody? Hmm. Situation is getting complicated. Is this is a recording? Yeah, it is. 
We are recording it right now too. Who is a Muslim? Well, Mimi, I do not know I, because I did not receive any message from you, so I don't know. Maybe you are sending to different person. There is somebody in in the Patreon. And he called himself Christian Prince something. Maybe I should report him because he is using the same name. Uh, but he, like his name is different. If you go to my Patreon, is the one who have more than a thousand subscribers. Did you send there? I did not receive anything from you. Any Mohammedan would like to call us? You just converted to Islam? Okay, did you chop your penis or not yet? Utaya. If you already are converted to Islam, call me. You know, for me, I want to convert it to Islam. But then when I saw how Abraham and how Muslim they do it, I said to myself, I cannot risk it, really. Do you know how Prophet Abraham, he did circumcision Prophet Abraham? Look at the, this. The Prophet uh, Abraham, he put his penis on the kitchen table or a tree stand or something stamp, and he used an ads. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I want to ask Abraham a question. The Muslim Abraham, aren't you afraid to miss? Yeah, he's, he's just joking. The guy who said he converted us now. Why, why Abraham did not use a sledge uh, 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 hammer? Oh, we have the guy yesterday from Indonesia. He's calling back. Hello, Dawood. How are you? Speak louder, speak louder. Yeah, how are you? How are you, brother? Uh, you, you first of all, you cannot call me brother. Why you are lying? Aren't you, as a Muslim, you are not? Uh, aren't you, as a Muslim, not allowed to call non-Muslim brothers? Hello. Indonesia, hello. Okay. Are you there? I don't hear you. Get me hang up and call him back. <laughs> Brother. <laughs> I hope he will answer. This is the guy who called me yesterday. Please answer my question. Can you answer my question? He's not answering. Maybe have a bad maybe have a bad internet. <laughs> Brother? <laughs> I mean, and those Indonesian, they uh, attack a Christian, they beat them, they arrest them. And then when they call us online, they call us a brother. Brother. <laughs> brother. Look how nice they are. I mean, we are just the brothers, you know, like family, you know, we are families. Yeah. Yeah, but I will, I will uh, uh, this time I will make him speak like a man. I will not allow him to speak like, you know, they make a saying, you know, because that, uh, this, that is a way of talk will make me uncomfortable. I don't like to spend my time talking to anyone with this. Yeah, we will wait for him. He said, wait. Maybe he is doing circumcision with the ads. Do you know how big the ads, Muslims? 
Prophet Abraham, he circumcised himself using the Qudum. Qudum. <coughs> yes, uh, the, would you, you hear me? Hello? Yes. Can you okay, you said to me, brother, are you allowed to say to Christian brothers? That's not, not important. No, no, it's important for me. It's not important for you because you're an idiot. Wait, wait, wait. For me, Can, no, for uh, me, you for me, everything. My last question? Hold on, hold on. Everything is important for me. Don't play. Don't be, don't be like a kid. Why are you af afraid? You are, who is afraid that afraid? You question. are the one who said to me, brother. I want to understand. Are you allowed to call Christians brothers? I'm not seriously when when say that. Is there, you know, okay, I'm asking you. What's wrong with you? Why are you afraid? Why are we having discussion? You call me brother. I want to know if you mean it or you are a liar. Do you mean it when you say to me, brother? I'm not seriously. He answer you. Listen, but don't make me uh, hang up on you. You are just a stupid idiot. Why you don't want to? You so are you admitting? You are, are, you ad are you admitting? You cannot answer my question. Are you? I did not. You did not ask me the question yet. You stupid. I'm asking you. I ask you when you said. You when you say said to me, no. I asked you a answer question answer since yesterday, and you coward. You cannot answer. If I you asked have you, no I asked you from me. yesterday. I'll do. Listen. Did I, ask, did I ask you yesterday a question and you refused to answer? Because you not answer my question first. You are, it's recorded. It's there. I answer you for more than thirty-five minutes, no, no. and I okay, answer, answer you. Now. Listen, answer listen. So when Allah He said us, why Allah He said us? I I promise uh, we'll answer you if you. Okay. Yeah. Me. As long you promise, go ahead. Answer me, and we will go to the second question you have. Go ahead. Yes, you answer me first. I promise. No, no, I don't. I don't trust you. Muslim. Muslim, they they give false promise. Your prophet, he promised his wife he will, friend, he will never have sex. He will never have sex with Maria the Copt. And second day, he was doing doing boom boom. Listen, Abdul. Listen, listen. I gave you yesterday more than an hour talking to you, and I answered you, and you refused to answer me. So now we start. You tell me why Allah He said us. What He? I meant. didn't want to answer you because you not answer my question first. You know, you okay, you are a liar. It's, it's there, everybody is my witness. Even the Muslim, they saw it. Even the Muslim, they discuss in the chat what I said to you and what you said to me. So, how you say I did not answer you? It's recorded, it's there. Yes, because yes, answer, so that's it. I answer you now. Now, listen, don't waste my time. I don't have time for kids' talk. You are a liar. You call me brother when your Muslim cannot call me brother. Do you admit that you are lying to I'm me? Not, I'm not do, you admit, do, you, do you admit? Do you admit? That a Muslim cannot call non-Muslim brothers. What must admit? Let's answer my question. Are you going to? Okay, just shut up, coward. What an embarrassment! You call me brother when your prophet he says only Muslim are brother to each other. Liar! No dignity, taqiyya. Answer my question. You did not answer my question. <laughs> I mean, from all of Indonesia, there is nobody there except this. Uh... <laughs> I spent at least 35 to 40 minutes answering your question. You did not answer my question. <laughs> So did you, are you going to tell me or no? Why you run away? You are the one who ran away. Why you don't want to tell me why Allah is Okay, let us see who is the one who is running away. I am here you. and I, I am the one who spent 35 minutes or more to answer your question. And now I ask you, yesterday I asked you, when Allah he say us, I why he say you. us I, if he is I, one. I promise we'll answer you, but you answer No, you, in, I, I don't take a Muslim promise. Muslim, they are liars. You answer me, we continue. Very simple. You are a coward. A Muslim making a promise. Who is the fool when I trust a Muslim? When your prophet he says a Muslim can lie to non-Muslims. A Muslim making a promise. I just hope you will answer. So are you going to answer or not? You said your promise. You said your promise. You said your promise. Do your promise. Here we go. Why Allah He say us if He is one? Yes, but if, but if 
But if you answer my question first, okay, okay, I don't, I don't trust you because yesterday you said the same. You said if I answer my, you know, I will answer you, and then after 35, 40 minutes talking to you, you refuse to answer me. Okay, so today, that means you today, today, today listen, listen, don't waste my, don't waste my time. You're just, just question, everybody, everybody question. is laughing at you. When Allah He say us, I'm not going to repeat the question again. Either you answer or you go to hell. So are I you, didn't answer. Are you, you going to answer, you don't or answer my okay, question? Okay, go ahead, answer, answer. Why Allah He said us? Why no? Why you not answer my Why question? Why not? I, okay, I want to hear your answer. I am. I want to know. I want to no, come back. No, Let, listen, listen. Us. I just bought. Who, I just. I just bought. I just bought an ads, and listen, I'm listen, going. Listen. I'm going the to just circumcise you today. First, then I so when you. Allah is Allah is one or He is many. Why He say we and why He say us? Go ahead. The rule is you answer me first, then I just get lost. We have no time for kids. Potato. Just answer my question. Your question is answered yesterday. In full. The true God is Jesus. The true God is the Father. The true God is the Holy Spirit. We did not answer my question. Jesus before the world is exist, he is exist, Jesus said in the same chapter, in the same verses. We did not answer my question. What an idiot, coward liar. Never trust a Muslim making a promise. He is a Muslim. They are allowed to lie. A Muslim, even he is allowed to take a false oath, even to his own family. He will take an oath in anything you wish. By the name of Allah, by the name of the Quran, by the name of Muhammad, and, and according to Islam, Allah will take him only accountable for what he meant in his heart. Only. So, and this is many places in the Quran saying that. Allah will take you accountable only in what you meant in your heart. So if a Muslim, he take an oath for you, saying, I will do this and this, I promise, he is lying. He is not even allowed to be faithful with you as a Christian. Look how many verses. Only what is the intention in your heart. Do we have any Muslim? And the funny he called me brother. Hmm. What a lie or hypocrite. I have no problem to talk to you until tomorrow. But we would have a conversation. Make a saying. No, no, we don't have time to waste. He will not, you know, he will keep repeating the same thing. This is what happened yesterday. I'm going to do the same thing. A very short question. You know, Allah, he say us. Why he say us? That's it. We can, we can continue. No problem. He will not answer. We don't know. Even, you know, scholars who they are scholars with 20 feet beard, they cannot answer the question. Do you expect that Abdul from Indonesia, he can answer it? He can't even read the word. Can you read Muhammadan? Okay. Anyone? He will take him. He will take a wife from us. And what make it even more funny, 
that if you go and read the interpretation, you will see us, Allah, he meant the black-eyed women. So Allah is a woman and he's a man in the, in the, in the best scenario. Because if us is women, that means he is a woman and he is lesbian. He's talking about taking a partner, lahwan, which is a woman. The Muslim in translation, they say wife, but in Arabic, it doesn't say really wife, it says a woman. If we want to take a woman as a partner for fun, we will take it from us. Allah want to have sex with a partner from us. And she is a woman. So in order for Allah to use the word us, he have to be from the same kind. You cannot be from different kind and you call it us. You don't count the dog with you. Read with me. This is the interpretation of a Jalalain. Not this stupid kid who do not know how to read his prophet name. Had we desire to find some diversion that which provide diversions in the way of a partner or a child, which means he will take a partner so he can have a child. We would have found it with ourselves from among the beautiful eyed Huris or the angels. And look how dangerous this statement is. If the angels are the one who will be the partner of Allah, and the word in Arabic is lahwan, which present women. That means angels are females, which the one Allah talking about. If they are male, that means Allah, either he is a female or he is a homosexual. If you go in the Quran, you will find the Quran saying the following. The Quran, according to Muhammad, his God told him that the Arab they take they make the angels are females. But they are not. There's no angels females. Do you see it? This is how stupid Muhammad is. So Muhammad is mixing between his previous pagan belief, which obviously they believe that Allah have three daughters, and he have angels' daughters. According to translation here, but in Arabic it says, uh, for them, they took for them sons. Those Arabs, they like to have sons for them. They don't like to have women. But for me, they gave me daughters. And not only that, they call the angels females. So the Quran confirm that angels are, are not females. So this is chapter 17, verse number 40, the same chapter we are reading from, the, the other chapter, chapter 21, al Anbiya, verse number 17 says, if you want to take a partner as a wife for sex, a partner for sex, whatever that wife is, male or female, we go to the interpretation, we find that partner is either the female black-eyed women, as Muslims say here in this interpretation, or the angels. How Allah, he can partner with the angels and how Allah will have sex with Jibreel. Anyone? This is why he refused to answer, because that question is very embarrassing. Or what you need to say, okay, open tafsir, we read tafsir, it's a bingo, it's over. But then everybody will see that Allah is not God as they claim. Because he just admitted that us 
meant human because the beautiful eyed Huris are human. Those are going to be the wives of the Muslim men. So when Allah he says, if you want to take a partner, he will take it from us, and then we discover that this us is a human, that means Allah is a human too. Any Muhammadan? <clears throat> Answer my question. I promise you. <laughs> You know, even or even Muslim women, they don't accept Muslim men promise when they get married. So they have to write down how much he will pay her. Otherwise, he will pay nothing. The wages for sex. Do you know what aqiqa tradition? What do you want, my friend? What this? What, what do you want to talk about aqiqa now? What 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 come to your mind? You know, sacrificing. What? Why do you want to talk about it? <clears throat> There's a reason you want to talk about it. This is what Muhammad he said actually. كل غلام رهينة بعقيقته. Do we have any Muslim? Tell me why you want to talk about it. I will talk about it. Give me a reason. Let me find the hadith. Yeah. This is you know, one of the uh, fiction, superstition of Muhammad. Al Hassan quoted Samura, who reported Allah Messenger saying, A boy is a pledge in his aqiqa. Sacrifice made uh, is made for him on the seventh day. He is given a name and uh, his head is shaved. Yeah, this is from the superstition of Muhammad. And the funny is, the Muslims, they don't even translate the word. Because they don't know what the word means. <laughs> Any Muhammadan here? <clears throat> Who is a Muslim would like to call us? I promise you, I will answer you. <laughs> okay. Any Muhammadan? Mayday, Mayday, Mayday. Hmm. No, Mohammedan. We 
we are out of customers. So the only customer we have is this kid from Indonesia. Answer my question. I promise you. By the way, Indonesian, do Indonesian people speak like this or only this guy? I hope only this guy. Uh, CP enable super chat in YouTube so we can support you. My friend, YouTube don't like my videos and my channel. This is why each time I reach 80, 90,000 something, I lose my channel. So if you are serious about supporting me, you can go to Patreon. It's the same, very easy, if people are serious. Why it's easy to support in Super Chat, but it's not easy to do it in Patreon? Does it make a difference? <clears throat> oh, Patreon link is there, if you are serious. Only him? Okay, thank God, only him. That will make me sick. Yeah, all Muslims, they can collect donations, etc. But me, especially me, you know, they from a long time, I cannot. And it's okay for me. They thought, I think what they thought, that uh, this guy, you know, if we don't allow him to take donation, he will stop coming online, maybe, you know. But I make donation or not, I will come online. I spend, you know, the majority of my work, I never had a donation, even a penny. So, uh, uh, donation is just a support. And uh, we have it, we don't have it. I will never stop exposing this garbage. <clears throat> yeah, they th you know, some people, it's true. Some people, if you, you know, if they don't make money from YouTube, they don't come to YouTube. They go to a different place. And that's not the case for me. Here we go. There's no money. Doesn't matter, my friend. I mean, doesn't matter. All of you, you have a credit card. I don't want to. I don't want to discuss about money, please. You know, you want to help, help. Don't give me this one, do that, and that one. I mean, I just answer the guy. I don't talk talk about. I don't like to talk about donation. Uh, I go live. I finish. I don't even talk about it. All of you, you know, from the time I go live until I go bye bye, I don't even say anything. So don't tell me this. Uh, if you care, people who care, they will find their way. But people who want to find excuses, they will find excuses. Very simple. You know, like a uh, uh, human being is just like a, like why you didn't call me for the last 10 years? Oh, I was busy. I mean, come on. 10 years you did not call this person. Obviously you don't care for this person. So a human being, when he want, he find a solution for anything if he care. But if he don't care, he will find a million excuses to make it not to happen as simple as that you know you might find your cousin he come to your city at 60 70 time but he never call you uh, one day he need you he call you because now he need you he found a way to call you even he do not know maybe even your number yeah Anyway, <clears throat> uh, I want to burn the Quran. Why you want to burn the Quran? No, I don't agree with burning the Quran. We laugh at the Quran. Why you want to burn it? If you burn the Quran, so I mean, what you did, nothing. The Muslim actually, you know. They fear someone like me who read the Quran, not an idiot burning the Quran. Why you want to burn it? Read it and show them, and you know, show them how stupid it is. That what that what that what caused damage to Islam is not burning the Quran, right?
Uh, if no Muslim and you pleased to answer Genesis translated Arab Christian Christian Arab called Abraham the father of Azar or the Torah uh, no there's nothing in the Bible saying that Azar is the father of uh, Abraham uh, the Quran because Muhammad is a fool and he do not know what the word mean. He is stealing from someone else. Azar is a, as a word mean foolish. In the old Aramaic, the ancient Aramaic. So Adam, sorry Abraham, he said to his father Al Azar, which mean foolish. Are you going to worship idols? So the foolish Muhammad, he thought that this is the name of the father of Abraham. Idiot, as usual, you know. <clears throat> and even the Muslims, by the way, many scholars, when they discover that this is, can't be the name, but the majority of Muslims until now, uh, because this is what their prophet meant. Uh, he meant that this is the name of his father. But if you read carefully, it says Abraham said to his father, Azar. Like why? You, why you need to name? You just said his father. If you say his father Azar, have he have, have he have two fathers? <laughs> you know what I mean? <clears throat> Do I need to say the name of the father? He said to his father, that's it. You don't need to say the name. Then, because it doesn't make sense. Because uh, uh, that can be possible if they have, he's saying to his brother. Because maybe he had many brothers. Because you understand what I'm saying? It's possible that a person, he had many brothers. Correct? Or sisters. So, it took, it's okay to say that Abraham, he said to his brother, let us say Joseph. Why? Because he had many, many brothers, maybe 20, maybe 60. But here, this is the father. <laughs> Somebody saying how Arab Christians can stay in Arab countries. First, first of all, those are our countries. Those are not their countries. Secondly, if you read the Quran, you will learn how our grand grandfathers, they paid jizya so they can live. To the gang muslims as long you pay them you will be fine they don't worship god they worship dollars <clears throat> uh, where is eve in the story of adam of spring coming from the shoulder of adam well i mean this is muhammad uh, you know, Muhammad always he have his own reasoning for saying things, and mostly he copies stories from others. So the story about the seed of uh, uh, Adam coming from the shoulders of uh, uh, Adam is silly and stupid, but it is not really, uh, you know, what what uh, what Muhammad is trying to say because he's racist that the black people are born to go to hell according to Muhammad and the white people are born to go to heaven according to Muhammad so this is the whole purpose of this uh, hadith let me show the hadith in the screen give me a second <clears throat> yeah very uh, you know very uh, uh, very racist man, very idiot. Okay, let us see here.
uh, for some reason my okay i'm trying to find the hadith maybe the admin can pause the link that will save me from looking for it in english and the admin can pause it for you but anyway uh, a very racist cult as usual you need to go to europe they need you in germany and england my friend uh, uh, people in Germany and England, they do not need me, they need God. You know, don't you see how stupid people in Europe these days? The whole world is stupid, not only European. I mean, look what happened for a football. Stupid people. You know, the Europe is, uh, not only Europe, even America, I mean, the whole world is doomed. People are stupid. People, they kill each other for the sake of a football. People, they cry for a football. People, they jump, people, they scream, people, they curse for the sake of a football. People are stupid. Don't be surprised if God, he destroyed this earth. A human being is really stupid. When a human being, he take an airplane and he is coming from a poor country like Brazil. How much the salary is there? $400 a month? He fly all the way to Qatar. He stay in a hotel. He spend couple of thousands, which is the work of maybe a year. To do what? To watch a football game. And where the money goes? To the mafia. You make them rich and you are poor. Do you know how much every one of those who play they will make from the game, even when they lose? Millions. What you will make? I understand now why they are playing. Because they are getting rich. You are getting what from it? Misery. <laughs> he been murdered in Qatar? I don't know. I mean, a murder can happen in any country. I mean, America is not a safe country, too. I'm not going to say, you see. I, I like to be fair in everything I say. But, uh, garbage in, garbage out. I know that some of you will be upset when I say that. Uh, because many of you is attached to the game but by time you know you will become wiser and trust me you will notice that this is not this is the game of the devil it's all about money see I encourage people to do sport but this is not sport this is just pure evil money and the human trafficking is used in this occasion prostitutions they because now it's the time to take a visa and now the embassy and they will be you know like overloaded with people applying and everybody take a visa so human trafficking sex trafficking uh, uh, in slavery uh, even kidnapping for children uh, money laundry drugs smuggling it is the perfect time to do everything wrong so what why you want to do this what for what you get from it you see if i want to spend my time in anything in life i want to ask myself the first question what i will get from it if i read a book i read to learn if i watch football what i will learn what i will get nothing Did not even entertain you because what you will do you will be nervous and most likely you will end unhappy because one team only will be happy at the end so if you get lucky that team which is your team is going to be the winner at the end if that happened so the whole world go in misery and then one team he won but this team next year might lose <laughs> It's just, it's just a stupid, you know, but a human being. 
human being is an idiot. And uh, he loved to, uh, you know, like uh, people are crying, they lost, you know, like what? Uh, they, they don't cry because there is, you know, crimes in their countries, rape, uh, their borders is lost, their government is lost, uh, uh, you know, uh, the country is messed up, uh, people is throwing acid at women in the street, women they cannot walk at night and alone no more. Uh, because this country is uh, those European country out of control. You do not know who is coming. You do not know who is leaving. You do not know that the Al Qaeda and ISIS and wolf groups and uh, left groups and right group, whatever groups, taking over the land. But they are busy watching football. Okay. You know. This why. It might sound not good for you when I see uh, those teams, like especially big countries losing, I get I get happy. I say, thank you, God. Actually, you know what? If Somalia was part of the game, I would love to see Somalia beating all those European countries just to make them humble again, just to go back and see how stupid they are. Because it's not a football who can bring a glory to you. Stupidity is amazing. And until now, I wish that the country who would win is a country from the poorest and the most uneducated countries in the world. So all those big countries, proud of themselves, they will be humiliated. In fact, I I believe that God should do something soon. This earth is doomed. I will not, I will not hesitate to ask God to bring the flood of Noah. Clean this earth, for this earth really is ugly. And if the flood will take me, let the flood take me. But we want this earth to be clean. This earth is doomed. Very doomed. I mean, look around you. Everything is wrong. And we are in a time where the, the if, if a woman, she is decent, she is stupid. If a man he sleep around, he is uh, smart, he is uh, cute, he is the good guy. A scammer is a smart. A victim is a fool. A criminal is a hero. And they glorify you, they write your name in books of history, like Muhammad. And then you will find that nobody, nobody want to say the truth. We are in a time, like how many times we heard the president, and prime ministers, they are not Muslims. They say Muhammad was a great man. Why they do that? Because we are living in the doomed earth. They are coward, they are hypocrites, they are liars. And if you are a person who's, you know, they say to you, we live in a country, we have a freedom of speech. But the second you say something, you don't agree with them, they suspend your account, they close it, they, you know, they harass you. Uh, uh, unbelievable. Just to speak something the crowd don't like to hear and see what will happen to you. And this is my story every day. Even Christians, by the way. When I start like teaching about Islam, you will see Christians, they come to me and says, well, why you are doing this? You know, you actually, once I remember, there was a minister from a church called Anabaptist. I met him in the Philippine and I made a speech in the front of the foreign ministers of the Philippines. His name is uh, Senator uh, uh, Catayano. 
So this minister, he's, uh, this, uh, this uh, uh, Canadian minister, so he said to me after the speech, so what do you do? I mean, I don't understand. You are sound like you are spreading hatred. Can you believe it? And then I went to his Facebook. And don't worry, I showered him. You know, I get him busted immediately. I said to him, so you are saying to me, when I quote what Muhammad said, I am spreading hatred. You just approve my point. Islam is about hate then. Because if I quote Jesus, nobody can accuse me of spreading hate. But by quoting Muhammad, you just said to me the truth. He said, no, no, I did not mean that. I said, you did. I went to his Facebook and actually I made the videos about it. Maybe somebody can find it. Uh, every day he posts a post about Prophet Muhammad, how amazing he is. And you know, those potatoes who they call themselves a Christian ministers, they claim they are doing that so they can be get closer to Muslims, which means they are doing taqiyya, stupid act, you know, satanic act. So in his mind, he think, oh, this is the way we can make the Muslims listen to us. But in fact, why they will listen to you now if they notice that you yourself, you praise their prophet. You know what I mean? Yeah, Senator Catayano, yeah. I believe his wife, she was the mayor of uh, Manila at that time. Uh, anyway, so he was so upset from me and then I made videos and I made many posts in his Facebook and he blocked me. I challenged him even to come and debate me live. But this is how we struggle these days with the liars within our churches. You will find a priest, he called himself a priest. He invite sheikhs to teach about Allah to Christian kids. And not only that, they teach them that we worship the same God. Your priest. Uh, Ali Sayan, he says, our enemy is not the Jews or the Christians. Our enemy is our own ignorance. Hazrat Ali. My friend, but isn't it Ali who killed a lot of Jews and Christians? Ali Sayan? Yeah, those are false statements to make, you know, those are fabricated stories. Even Ali, he burned people alive. He burned them alive. And you are telling me that Ali, he said, our enemy is not the Christians, not the Jews. What does this have to do with Catholic or Protestant? There's many churches from all churches. They do that. They support Islam. There's a Protestant, there's Orthodox, and there's Catholic. So don't tell me, don't play the drama. I'm not a Catholic no more. What does this have to do with the Catholic? And there's many Catholic, they expose Islam. And there's many Protestant, they expose Islam. And there's, so the Lord, he says, from their fruits, we shall know them. Not everyone say he's a priest, he's a priest. There's a lot of doing business. When you go to a church, any church, let us say you are a new member, ask him certain questions. If you don't dare to answer, he is a false Christian. Ask him this question, what do you think about Islam? Ask him what he say about homosexuality. If he starts saying politically correct answers, he is a false Christian. Very simple. Two questions will, will, will show you what he is. Especially if he refused to answer in front of everybody. Like if he is brave only to tell you in private, he's a potato, he's false. What do you think about Orthodox Church? It's a church like all churches. You know, my friend, I don't care for names. As, the, as I say, the Lord said, from their fruits, you shall know them. So a church, if your church have a fruit, good fruit, it's a church. Jesus is there. God is there. Very simple. We don't care. You know, when somebody he built, 
uh, a tomb and he covered the tomb by the most expensive marble granite light led light you put wi-fi wi-fi in the in the grave still it's a grave it's dark it's cold it's a grave so many they decorated churches like the muslim they do but those churches are dead because there's no fruits the priest he don't even know what he's talking about like the muslims if you don't see a new convert if you don't see those this priest is bringing people to christ so what exactly his job You know, the disciples of Jesus, they were not priests to do rituals. This is not their job. Their job is to bring people to Christ. He said, I choose fishermen. Those priests who do rituals are just doing business. A priest, he don't bring new people. Every, I'm not going to say every day because it might be hard, you know. Not everybody can do that. But if the whole year is gone and this person, he claimed to be priest, he could not convert five, six, seven people to Jesus. So what he do exactly? He read for us a few verses from the book. We can do it by ourselves. You know, once I uh, I went to a church, somebody sent me there. He told me, this is a, I would like you to talk there. So I went and then I, I asked for the minister and look what happened. He said to me, if you don't mind, send me your resume. I said, what resume? He said, yeah, send me your resume. You know, I said, my friend, you, you maybe you did not understand me. I'm not here. I don't get paid. I do it for free. Why you want my resume? If you want recommendation, you mean to be sure that, like, I, I am qualified, I can make some people who they are very well known to call you. He won't resume, and he never call me. So if Jesus come to them, they will ask him for a resume. If Paul come to them, Peter, John. They will say to him, give us your resume. Christianity was not built on those people. It's not about big churches and how, how big the size of the church. It's about what this church do, what the people in this church do. Ali Sayan, my friend, as long you are saying Ali took a revenge of Jesus on the Jews. I mean, aren't you stupid or not? Isn't it Jesus supposedly is one of the Jews? So how you take revenge? Secondly, how you would take revenge of the Jews because of Jesus if Allah saved him? Do you see how silly the Muhammadan are? Those Shia, they wrote stories about Ali, and I believe even Ali is not even exist. And not only that, those Shia, they believe that Ali is a light, made of light. In fact, Muhammad himself, he received a message from Allah by mistake. Jibreel was coming to Ali. So the Shia, they fabricate tons of his stories about Ali. Like two days ago, we have a Shia who called me. If you remember that the sons of Ali and Ali, they speak how many language? 70,000, thousand languages. Those are the books of the Shia. Shia is a stupid cult, the same as Muhammad cult, and have millions of fabricated stories. Ali is a supernatural. Ali, he was in China in the same time he was in Argentina. In the same time he was having a breakfast in Damascus. I mean, who is this guy, Ali? Those Shia, they worship the family of Muhammad. They are pagan.
they ask him, uh, the guy, he cannot have kids. He said, I have seven daughters and I cannot have, I want to have boys. So he said to him, when you do your wife, do her from behind, excuse my language, and each time you put it in, excuse my language, you spank her and say, yeah, Ali. So the guy, he went home and he made his wife bend over and he started doing boom, boom. And each time he push it in, excuse my language, he spank his wife with the maximum force he have. And he scream, yeah, Ali. And then guess what? The guy, he gets seven boys. This is how stupid the she are. And look, this guy is saying, he keep repeating the same thing. Our enemy is not the Jews or the Christians. Our enemy is our ignorance. But isn't it the Quran, you stupid? Muta boy. He said in the Quran that Allah, he says, kill the Christians and the Jews until they pay the jizya. I mean, do you see how stupid and how silly you are? So are you saying, Ali, you don't believe in the Quran? You don't, right? Because as you see, the enemies, as Ali, he said, the enemies, our enemy is not the Jews, it's not the Christian. He kept repeating that. But the Quran says, kill the Christians and the Jews and until they pay you to live and they have to do it with submission and subdued and you have to be humiliated. And he keeps saying to us, Ali, he said, our enemy is not the Christians, is not the Jews. Where do you get this from? How did he burn people alive? Burn them alive, literally. Is it Ali the one who attacked the Jews and he killed them? Shia, they are very well known with the practice of taqiyya. You see, like this guy, he called me from Indonesia. is maybe not a Shia. But the Shia, they practice taqiyya way more than Muslim Sunni. Uh, let us see. Let us show you, uh, Ali is burning people alive. Here we go. This is the Hadith. Ali burned some people. Who are the, those people? They are Muslims. He burned some people. Alive. Israeli had to fight. Yeah, we have to fight. And we, and we Christian, we fight too. Stop being stupid. I'm showing you Quran and you said to me, you have to fight. You know, here the Quran saying you attack the Christian and the Jews just because you don't believe in Allah. And not only that, because your prophet is a hypocrite, he worship money. If they pay you, let them, it's okay. Just take the money. If your prophet is a person who is sincere and all his attack is about God, then he should not accept the money of the world. But if we pay him, we can worship Jesus. Do you see the hypocrite prophet? If your prophet is a real man, if I am now in a control of city like Muhammad, and a person says to me, I will pay you, let me worship Muhammad. And I accept the money. That means I don't care for God. Because the money is from my pocket, not for God. So I favor the money over the belief this is your prophet is a gang man he's a mafia actually the word mafia in italy is coming from the muslims when they would draw from europe 
and they were taking jizya. The criminals, they took the place of the Muslims. They came to the stores, they say, okay, the same you used to pay for the Muslims, you have to pay us. Jizya. You pay for protection. Protection from who? From us. <laughs> the Muslim, they say to you, will you pay for protection? Okay, protection from who? From us, Muslims. This is how faith in this cult is. It's a gang, it's a mafia. Do we have any Muhammadan want to say anything? Anyone? Yeah, I blocked him. I have no time for a stupid talk. Just two days ago, go and listen to the call from the Muslim Shia who called me, if you remember. And obviously he left Islam, but he don't he don't want to say life on air. But obviously he left Islam. Go watch it. Jizya is not a tax. Jizya is a penalty, especially here. Uh, you see, it says you have to pay it with submission and feel themselves subdued. Open Ibn Kathir and read. The Muslim, they have to insult the Christian. They have to disrespect them. They have even to do the maximum humiliation to them. This is what is mentioned in the Pact of Omar. But if Muhammad is a true prophet, and really the mission is about God, then he will not accept any money. And this is why there's enter now Arabic Christians in the Middle East, because they pay. As long as you pay, you live. You don't pay, they will kill you. So Muhammad, because he is a money worshiper, he don't see God, he accept money if a christianity is a pagan belief as muslim they say how you accept them to believe in something pagan for the exchange of money do you understand what i'm saying if muhammad is a prophet of god and he is coming to change the religions for the bad ones but then those bad ones, they pay you, they stay alive, and they can still worship Jesus. Right? Uh, warning, anyone uh, here, he start bashing other Christian churches, I will block you. Christian Spear, you are being stupid now. 40,000 Christian domination. And what we got from your domination? Is it just one more? You are just being stupid. You know, this is one of the stupid things about a human being. He accused other church that they have 40,000 domination. But isn't it yours is a one more domination? Stupid. At the end of the day is what those churches they can accomplish so in a certain time the catholic they were able to spread the christianity within many continent wonderful job protestant now maybe they are more active wonderful job orthodox mostly they are dead they are not doing anything they are just doing busy doing doing rituals actually i believe orthodox now is the lowest the the lowest in activities between the Christians. Zero fruits almost. 
What happened? Just wearing uniform, doing rituals, there's no teaching, there's no preaching, there's no evangelism, uh, uh, no, no, you don't go to the street and teach people. Where is the Orthodox? Go. The street is empty. Go. So there's many stupid people that are so proud about the name they have. But in reality, they are empty. There's no church is called which one is a true. The church which is giving fruit to Jesus is a true church. It's not a name, my friend. It's a place where there's a group of people, they work for Jesus. It's not a church name. So if there's a church which is Orthodox, and the priest in this church is wonderful man, He's able to bring people to Jesus. This is a church of Jesus. I don't care for the name, Orthodox or Protestant or Catholic. From their fruits, you shall know them. Only satanic people, they throw rocks at other Christians because they are not following Jesus. Doesn't matter what Christian you are. If you are a Protestant, you throw rocks at the Catholic, you are no Christian. If you are a Catholic, you throw rocks at the Protestant, you are no Christian. Because obviously, you did not learn what Christianity is yet. For God, He loved the world. He sent His only begotten Son. To do what? To make people believe in Jesus and to be saved. So Jesus said, whoever believe in me and I will live, not believing in Orthodox or Protestant or Catholic, that is your stupidity. You do not understand Jesus yet. Who care about your stupid bishop? Who care about your stupid priest? Who care about the name of your church? We care about Jesus. People follow Jesus. They don't follow the man. Those who follow the man, they will die, well, you know, like the man. Jesus said, let the dead bury the dead. We are dead. All of us here, we are dead. So you follow me, you are a fool. How I can save you? Me, myself, I will die. You trust a man, you are stupid again. The Bible says all men are sinners. The second you put your trust in a man, you are a donkey. Priest is a man, bishop is a man, I am a man, you are a man, all of us are sinners. And this is why we needed Jesus. We needed someone who have no sin. Not a sinner priest. So true Christian, he don't look at names of churches, he look at the fruits, at individuals. You can be a church yourself. You are actually the first church. When Jesus said, when you pray, you go to your closet. That is your church. This is the first church you have, the smallest one. So start from yourself and then ask yourself, how many people I brought to Jesus? If your answer is zero, that means you are zero. So they are proud about names, but they are empty inside like dead animal who is full of fart. You know, when an animal, he die in the field, do you know what will happen to him? Anyone see an animal, dead animal? Did you see any dead animal? You will find that his stomach is so big. He's so big, huge. Huge. And he's hard. If you kick in it, it's so hard. But the fact he's full of fart, gas, the worms are eating him from inside. So don't be like the dead animal who is full of gas and the worms are chewing him from inside, yet you think you're big. The Muslim don't fear you and your demonition. They fear me. They fear individuals who speak the truth.
most of your priests these days are doing business. I offer my service to many. Until now, the only one who allow me to come to their churches to teach is a Protestant. Where is the Orthodox? Where is the Catholic? You tell me. All of you, you know, I don't take a side, but nobody invite me from the Catholic and nobody invite me from the Orthodox. They don't even want to mention the topic to their followers. Because the priests are bad, not the people. The people want to hear it, they want to see. And many of you here support me, they are Catholic and they are Orthodox. But your priests don't dare to do it. The only one who opened doors for me, it was the Protestant. This is the truth. I always fight hard to unite the Christians. And we can be always united if we share the truth target, which is Jesus. If you listen to the priest, they will take you to hell. Many of them, not all of them. Those who divide us, they don't belong to Jesus. Ask yourself a very simple question. Do you think Jesus will be happy to hear there is a Protestant and Catholic and Orthodox? Etc., etc., etc. Is that what Jesus wants? No. Jesus, he established one church. And now each one of them, he's, they are acting like the Muslim, you know, the Muslims. Exactly, you know, in a, in a satanic, a satan, a Satan is dividing them. Actually, the Quran says in chapter 5, verse 14, Allah in the Quran, Akka Muhammad, he said, he will spread hatred and enmity between the Christians until the day of judgment. And obviously, Allah, the devil, is successful. And you help him when you divide the Christians. You work for Allah. What your goal to your contradiction in the Quran show us to show us its falsehood. We have been speaking to Muslim couple. My friend, I have many of videos, just search. Oh, every day we show contradiction. I mean, you will find my videos everywhere, my books, etc. So I, I'm happy to help you, but uh, just get my videos. Didn't Jesus create the church upon the apostle? My friend, you are the apostle. What do you mean the apostle? The apostle, there are people exist in the time of Jesus. If you are exist, if I am exist, and we choose to be with Jesus, we will be his apostle. Isn't it Jesus he gave you, not only to the apostle? You know, when Jesus he speaks, is he teaching only the apostle? And now the apostles are gone. So, are we out of them? What apostle? Even apostles, they are sinners. We don't depend on the apostles. We don't worship them. We don't follow them. We follow God. When the apostle, he says something, and his statement in agreement with the Lord, he is an apostle. If he is not, he is Satan, Jesus said. Isn't it Jesus he called Peter Satan? Stay away from me. Did Jesus say that? Stay away from me, Satan. Who? Peter. So even Peter, when he said things out of the line is not right, the Messiah, he called him Satan, not a sinner, not you are wrong. He said, Satan, stay away from me. Isn't it the one who denied Jesus 
is a disciple of Jesus? Are you people now worshiping disciples? Who denied Jesus? Who said, I don't know him? Who watched him being arrested? Who is the one who get paid and deliver him to his enemies? Apostle. So you have a wrong idea about the apostle, my friend. Yeah, I know there's many uh, 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 priests, Catholic priests, they like what I do. But the problem is, my friend, because the way the Catholic Church is made, they are not allowed, like even, like you said now, to meet this priest. He like what I do. He watch my video, but he cannot invite me. Why? Because they have a system which is not free. It's not up to them to invite somebody to make a speech. He cannot. Even the guy you are saying he listened to me, he liked what I do. But he cannot invite me to his church. So now we have a church. Somehow they are forbidden to hear the truth. So we can teach this church how to defeat Islam and they cannot fool your children. Because the purpose of our teaching is not only... I mean, I come here every day. Honestly, my, my back is hurt from sitting and staying. How many hours right, right now I'm here? How many hours? Almost three hours. How many hours yesterday? How many hours the day before? Do you think it's fun for me to come every day here, stay here, talking, saying the same stupid things? Shouting, arguing. It's not fun. It is headache it is uh, you know will, will, will destroy your health staying for five six hours you can't even go to the bathroom so why we are here we are here to do what the priests are not doing i'm not a priest if the priests are doing their job i will not be here I am here because your priest is not doing what he should do, what he's paid for. He have a free housing, he have insurance, he he you know he have a salary. I don't if I might I can't even fix my teeth if I want to pay, you know. I don't have insurance, I don't have health insurance. So we have to have to make a revolution, us. We don't wait for the church or so-called church because those church, they became a routine organization. You know, they are not doing, they don't have the spirit and the, of, of, the, of the old church where they go and teach and preach and bring people to Jesus. They are sitting inside the church. People bring them gifts and they respect them and father and etc. And the guy, he think he is a big deal like Muhammad. So we replace Muhammad by many Muhammad. This is why our mission is not easy. And, you know, and for me, always I will work hard to unite the Christians because as you see, the one who divide them is the devil Allah. It's in the front of your eyes. Chapter 5, verse 14. Remember this always. The one who wants you to be divided is the devil of Islam. So the second you work in the toward division between the Christians, you are working for Allah. Ask yourself, who is the one would like us to be divided? You know the answer. 
Do you think the devil he will be happy to see the Christians are united? You know the answer. Christian who don't love his brother in Christ from any church, he is no Christian. If Jesus said, love your enemy, you can't even love your brother in Christ. How do you unite? Just follow Jesus. Don't follow the priest. As simple as that. Stay away from anyone, any man who teach the vision. If any church, he said to you, we only give salvation, they are not telling the truth. Jesus gives salvation. It's not a church. It's not a bishop. It's not a priest. doesn't matter what the name of the church. It is Catholic, it's Protestant, it's Orthodox. None of those will give you salvation but Jesus. Only fool, they follow men. The wise man, he follow God. So don't be the same as the foolish man who built his villa, his palace over the sand. Um, how you can bring mouse lemmas to Jesus if you cannot even love your own brother uh, yeah we have to love each other and we have to be forgiven even sometimes there's a bad history, but history is history. We learn from it. Um, but we need to learn to be forgiven. And we are we are following Jesus, not a bishop, not a priest. And uh, even when you will pray, our Father out of heaven, the first thing you do, you say, forgive to us. The same we forgive to others. So forgiveness is a key of salvation. Believe is a must in order to be able to be forgiven because you cannot forgive unless you are a believer and faith in Jesus the Savior that will make you be saved and then the act will come because faith without act is a dead faith as the Bible said so Christianity is not even going to church it's not a ceremony, it's not a rituals. Christianity is a life with Jesus. You love, you give, you do, you save. That is Jesus. Jesus said, I was hungry and you fed me. I was a prisoner, you took, you know, you visited me. I was a stranger, you took me in. They said, Lord, when we did that to you, we did not do that to you. He said, when you did it to my brothers, you did it to me. Anyone, we are his brothers. God do not need you to feed him. He do not need your donation. You cannot bribe God with donation. Can you? This is only in Islam. God, he need a loan. He need a mortgage because Muhammad is the God. In Christianity, you cannot buy God. You cannot buy salvation by giving some money to church or somebody poor. This is not how it works. But because you are a believer, because you have faith, because of your faith, you do good. Good is automatic from you. You are the good tree. Good tree give good fruits. This is why the Lord, he said, from their fruits, you shall know them. Not from your name. Who care what your name is? The Lord, he will know you from your fruits. The Bible is in front of you. Go read it. And many people, they dress nice, they, they show themselves, they are polite, but they they have no fruits. Where is the fruits? I remember once a bishop, he said to me, what, uh, what are you getting from this, you know, arguing with Muslims, etc. So I said to him, uh, the bishop is old man. I, you know, I mean, I speak to him with respect. I, res I respect his age. So I said to him, uh, Father, uh, just a question. 
how many Muslims you converted to your Christianity all your life? At that time, this guy, he was like really old. I mean, I don't know if he's still alive. He said, none. I said, ask me the same question. Just ask me the same question. So sadly, you will find somebody, he spent his life serving a church, but he brought nobody to Jesus. So what you did exactly? Uh, uh, you know, here you see some silly uh, comment. Uh, I will give you an example. The person, his name is Nothing Below Me. If your God require you to love him with all your heart, then what happened to psychopath who cannot feel or express love? Your Bible was written before we know. You know, I mean, this is very silly of you, my friend. You are assuming that people do not know about people who have sickness before? Like, well, this is something happening in you? Very silly. My Bible teach that everyone, he will get what he deserve. So if you already say you are a person who have a mental illness and you kill people, you have, totally, you have no brain, you know? God will not punish you base in the killing. He will punish you based in what you are, how, how aware of what you are doing. God is about justice. So everyone, he will be questioned based in what he is given. So this is why Jesus, he taught us in parable, like he is the master who have the three servant, one he gave him one load, the other one he gave him two, etc. So then he asked them what they bring back. So if the Lord he gave you zero load, how you can make the zero two? He will not ask you for impossible. So the Lord will judge people based in their ability and what he gave them, not in what they have not. I'm not going to ask a person to walk when I did not give him legs. And that's what Jesus do. He will ask you only to do what you can do, not what you cannot. There is many people, they have, I don't know what they call it in science today, syndrome. I don't know, like many, 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 many illness, you know. Those people, we didn't know they, don't, they did not receive what we receive, but it doesn't mean they are bad. You might find one of them too, if I don't know, doing even crime. But do you think God will judge them the same way he will judge you and me? No. You will be judged by your ability, ability of thinking, acting, controlling yourself, what God gave you. So if you do it based on evil, you are being evil, then you will be judged for your evil. If you commit a crime because you're stupid, which means you don't mean to, you don't know what you are doing. You have a mental illness, you know, uh, you, you, you saw a key of a car, you jump in the car, you do not know how to drive, you have a mental illness, and you drove the car, you never drove a car before, and you hit people because you don't even know how to stop the car. You kid many now. God will not punish you for a crime you commit. You do not know what are you doing. Murder is you knowing what you are doing. This is why we call it murder. This is why you say it's an accident which caused death. You don't call it murder. Even the person who did the accident is fully wise and smart. 
not mentally ill or anything. Still, you call it accident, incident, because it was not meant. It's not your decision. It's not your purpose. Anyway, I believe we have enough for today. I hope we did some, have some good time together. Feel free to download my videos if you care to share them in your, I mean, the videos are long. You can cut the pieces if you like. And I don't know, we did not get any Muslim. Usually when uh, nobody call us, no serious Muslim debate, you know, I don't keep the video. So you can download it, but usually I don't keep those kind of videos if there is no real debate, something hot, you know, we did. But for free, for, for sure, you can download the video. Uh, I want to say thank you guys for being here. It's getting really so late for me. Uh, I debate Hamza. Hey, my friend, your Hamza is a Hamza. Don't tell me debate Hamza. We are live and we have our Skype is open for many hours and your Hamza did never dare to call me. Is that Hamza the one who sell panties? Is that the one you are telling me to, to debate him? The one who made fun of apostate prophet when he said to him that Abraham was a messenger for all mankind? <laughs> I mean, your Hamza is a donkey to the point an atheist who did not know much about Islam, he was dying laughing at him. He said to him, Abraham, according to the Quran, sent to all mankind. He said, where are you getting this from? Where are you getting this from? This is the Hamza, the one who sell panties. Debate Hamza. Why you don't give me the Skype of Hamza and I will call him. Now, what a potato you are. Uh, all those who, they challenge me to debate this and that. Oh, what you need to do, give me the Skype of this person and we will call him when we go live. If you want, we can do it now. Stop whining like a goat. She don't have a baby inside her. It just gas from eating the wrong grass. You know that none of you dare to debate me. This is why all of you, you debate David Wood, you debate, but nobody dare to come to my door. And the only one who dare is the one who will not lose his career. Somebody is an unknown. Somebody he can call and nobody knows who is he. But those who have names or they claim they have names and career of bashing Christianity, they don't dare to get it close to me. Face it. Take it or leave it. So I want to say thank you guys. Again, feel free to download the video. I might delete it later. And I will see you soon again. May the Lord bless you all. And remember that we as a Christian, we should be always united. The vision is from the devil. And whoever do it, he is serving the devil, even if he is a good person. Even if he is a good person. It might happen that the person is good, but because of his ignorance, he tried to divide us. He think he's doing good. You know, Jesus said, time will come and people, they will think they are doing favor to God by killing you. See how stupid a human being is? Time will come and people will think they are doing favor to God. They believe in God. And they are killing you for the sake of God. The Bible says my people have been destroyed because of their ignorance. Ignorance. We need to get rid of it. And this is what we do here. So I hope we are helping you every day to fight ignorance. And remember, all of us, we have ignorance. I don't want to be a person who says, oh, I'm the one who can teach you. We learn every day. I learn every day. You know, learning process is never ending. The person who thinks he knew everything is an ignorant person. He's a foolish too. One of the signs of foolishness in when you think you are the wise, <laughs> you know, the only wise is our Lord. That's why we need him. If you see, if I am wise, if it's enough for me to be me, then I do not need Jesus. I do not need that his teaching. I do not need the Bible. So, but because we knew 
that we can be easy misguided, easy deceived. So we have to strengthen ourselves with something cannot be deceived. Someone, he is proving to us that he is above any deception. And the only name we have is the Messiah. So you, don't, you trust yourself, you are fooling yourself. Easy you can be deceived. A man can be deceived by sex, by money, by power, by fame, by anything. I mean, the whole world around us is just a form of deception. Even just because maybe you look good, you are deceived immediately. You became so proud. Oh, this woman, she looks so good, so she thinks highly of herself. She is the most beautiful. Oh, this guy he looks so handsome, so he thinks he is so proud. He is. He looks better than everybody. But the fact inside the person, there's nothing but a fool. A true wise person is the one who understands that he is a fool. And because of his foolishness, he needs the help of the Lord. This is the best wisdom and the best advice to you. Don't depend on yourself. You find yourself suffering from a problem, there is something, go to the Bible. Read. Try to find the Lord will speak to you. The Lord will, will, will inspire you. The Lord will give you a solution. Don't just depend on yourself. You see, a body with no spirituality is just a dead body. It's like a concrete. It's cold. So the, the Lord is the one who warms us. This is real. This is not a speech. You know, the second you start reading what Jesus said, you will feel... This is real talk. This is something touching my life. Even he spoke 2,000 years ago. I challenge you to open any chapter Jesus has spoken, which is 2,000 years ago. And now we are in the age of the internet. We are in the age of technology. We are in the age of going to the space. And you will find that Jesus is speaking about what you have today and what you have tomorrow. This is how you know that the Word of God is eternal because it cannot expire by time. It's not outdated. Go read any chapter of Christ, any statement, and you will not find one thing is outdated. Nothing can outdate God. But man will be outdated. The law you have today is going to be a joke tomorrow. You change your own law by your own self. And then in the future, you laugh at yourself for the law you used to have. So you want to string yourself, string yourself by the Messiah, by his word, by his teaching, and stay away from being proud, be humble, don't be arrogant. And when you do wrong, admit you do wrong and ask the Lord for forgiveness and do your best to fight your wrong. Don't make it a lifestyle. Lifestyle of sin will take you to nowhere except hell. Thank you all for being here. May the Lord bless you. And until we see you again, Christ is Lord and Islam is false. Take care.